Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization, as noted. Folks, at home workouts, now that we're in this funk, and even if you see this video later and we're not in the funk anymore, training at home can be kind of cool. It can save you tons of money, and sometimes you just can't make it to the gym or just don't want to deal with the gym. How do we get hard training at home? It is possible. And to prove it to you, we've recruited the coaching manager uh, at RP, Doug, uh, against his will, to demonstrate some brutal at-home workouts because your boy is tired from bodybuilding training. I'm not gonna do any of this stuff. Doug here is gonna have to take the brunt of the matter. So here's the deal. We're gonna show you a sample chest and triceps workout today. Just two exercises, but they're done myo rep style. Brutal, we'll tell you about what that is in just a second. If you want more workouts like this, we've got other videos, but if you want an integrated, periodized, at-home workout plan, check out the links below. We've got them at RP, but if you just wanna follow along with the videos, you don't have to buy anything, folks. Let's get to it and see how Doug fares. When we're training at home, we're gonna assume you only have dumbbells at your disposal, probably not very heavy ones. How in the heck are we going to be able to train super hard with just light dumbbells? One is creative exercise selection and design. The other one is making sure we take a couple of things to note. First of all, is to go really close to failure, probably just to all out failure, technical failure, which means we can't do another rep without sacrificing good technique. Brutal, brutal stuff. And we're also, because the weights aren't super heavy and because systemically we're not gonna be altered a ton, we're gonna use really short rest intervals, introducing Berge Fagarelli's Mayo reps recipe into the equation and sometimes doing compound alternating supersets as well. Here's the deal with Mayo reps. You do your first set, probably somewhere in the 20 to 30 rep range, will need that bandwidth because we just don't have super heavy weights. 20 to 30 reps to failure on a first set, then all you do is you take like a three to five second breather, your lactic acid and all the metabolites flush mostly out of your muscles, and then you hit it again, all the way to failure again. And all of these workouts, we're gonna be demonstrating four Maya reps, which means one intro set that's super tough, 20 to 30 reps, and then uh, three more sets of roughly five to 10 reps each. But really we let physiology decide, we're gonna go all the way to failure on those. We're gonna use one of those four set sort of clusters to do one muscle group, and then we're gonna move on to another. And if you do that, it saves a ton of time and it makes training so brutal at home, you're gonna wish you were at the gym to coddle yourself. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give Doug a little bit of a warm up, and then as soon as he's nice and warm, ready to go, we're gonna get right into our first set of chest. First exercise is medium grip push-ups, just right outside shoulder width. We don't just wanna get right into the push-ups though, we want a little bit of warm up. So we're gonna do like something like three or five push-ups just to get the blood flowing. One warm up set's probably good enough for many people. If you feel like you need more, take more. Doug, go ahead and get us five push-ups going. You'll notice his technique is no joke. It's all the way up and down, and he pauses for a little bit at the bottom and at the top. There is no BS here. Notice that control eccentric, when we're training at home, we can't use weight to make up for our lack of effort. Perfect, Doug, good enough. Just relax. You're gonna do that. You're gonna rest for, oh, 30 seconds to a minute, and then you're gonna start the brutality of your first mile rep four sets. It's time for the first real set taken to concentric failure, which means you cannot do another repetition anymore and you gently plop back down to the ground. But this has to happen with your entire back flat, always with good technique. We're not here to rush. We're here to impact the muscles a ton. Doug, you good to go? All right, as soon as you fail, just feel free to roll out of it. Cool? Hit it up. One, excellent. Two. 12, phenomenal, keep going. 13, this is where you find out how hard at-home training can be. 14, up, 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 good. Keep those hips up. We don't want any partials, go. More, you got it. This is what push into failure really feels like. Go, 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 more. Keep those hips up. Go, 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 go. One more, go right away, no time for rest. Up, 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 control on the way down, go. Control and up, that's it. Very good, failure, perfect. Now, what Doug is gonna do, he's gonna roll out of it, and he's gonna take three to five deep breaths. All right, nice and easy. Let us know when you've taken three to five. 
This is live, okay? No cuts, no edits. We're going right into it. It literally takes five to 10 seconds of rest to get going. You good to go, you're in your Zen zone. Right away, push-ups, set it up, go. Right, the whole point of Maya reps is to sequester tons of metabolites in the muscle, and that's gonna happen if we take short breaks. And up, good. Let's get five at least. Up, good. Up, last one, Doug, let's do it. Keep the butt up, push. Yes, and one more, slow. Try another, go, go, go. Good job, very good. Roll out, three to five deep breaths again. We're halfway done. We only have two sets left. Pretty tough. How are you feeling? Decent? Man, you're in good shape. What kind of training do you do? You ever hear of RP before? Oh yeah, you work for RP. That's right. Ready to go? Hit it. Excellent position. Go ahead. Beautiful. These are all gonna be tough. That's the point. Get your shit together. Last one. Push, down slow. Try one more, go, 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 go. That was ugly, that's failure. Good enough, very good. Relax, don't even bother getting up. You can just keep sitting. Three to five deep breaths, deep breaths. You're ready, hit it, last set. Let's get at least five, Doug, at least five. Excellent technique. Folks, now is the time that you get real tempted, good. You get real tempted to cheat. This is not the time to cheat. This is the time to be strict. A little shorter pauses at the bottom. Touch, pause, and go. Yes. Let's get two more, at least five here. Control it and up. Good. One more, Doug, let's go. Finish up strong. Big push. Go, 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 go. That's it. Good job. That's it, perfect. Folks, Doug luckily is still alive. That's it for push-ups. Feel free right now to take a minute or two water break, shake it out, and we're gonna warm up for our next exercise, which is tricep extensions. So, Doug has finished the push-ups. Now it's time for lying tricep extensions. We were gonna call them skull crushers, but what a scary name. And technically speaking, you can't crush your skull with a dumbbell unless you really, really screw up. So here's the deal. We got the dumbbells. These are cool, they're like power blocks or something. Any kind of dumbbell works. We're gonna do, or rather what Doug is gonna do, is he's gonna touch the dumbbells all the way to the ground by his ears and extend strictly on the way up. We want this to be only triceps. Do not turn this into a press. So Dougie, give these a shot. We got number one, we got number two. Notice we're only using like 10 pounds for these. These are very, very difficult. Go ahead and touch right close to your ears. Notice that elbow bend, just a warm up set and a big press. Very good. Elbows stay pointed down instead of out and a big press. Very good. And two more just to make sure we're nice and warm and really not just warm, but familiar with the movement. Notice his control on the eccentric and his use of good force on the concentric. Critical to excellent execution. Very good. I'm gonna relieve you of these. We're gonna rest like, oh, one minute or so, maybe 30 seconds, and then the brutality of our four Maya reps hits us super hard. When you do these workouts, do you have to do four sets of everything like we're doing? No, absolutely not. If you're not used to training, you've been out of the gym for a while or just out of training for a while, start with like two of them, literally one big set with lots of reps, and then just one set after three to five you know, deep breaths you take, five to 10 seconds of rest. If you're seasoned and if you've been doing these dumbbell movements except at a gym, now you have even lighter dumbbells and you're good at them, geez, try five or six of these sets and then every week that passes, if you're not getting as sore as pumped as you were and you're recovering, which means your reps are going up, then continue to add sets. You can eventually do up to 10 to 12 sets of each one of these and get a brutal, brutal workout. So the four, just sort of an average recommendation. If you're new to this stuff, do like something like two. If you're experienced, do something like six and always work into your abilities. If you bite off more than you can chew, reduce the number of sets. If you're not getting really much anything at all, increase the number of sets per session. Working set number one, strict technique, we're gonna go all the way to failure. Dog, whenever you're ready, it's on your pace. Excellent. Tons of bend in that elbow, touching right by his ears. Where exactly you touch is a matter of comfort. You just wanna make sure you're feeling your triceps get stimulated considerably. Excellent, this is where it gets tough. We've crossed about 20 reps now. 
Good, keep pushing it slow and controlled. And right up. And slow and controlled. And right up, beautiful. And slow and controlled. And right up, that's it, failure. Perfect, he couldn't do any more unless he was gonna break his technique. So now he's gonna take a bit of a break, literally three to five deep breaths, about five to 10 seconds. And then as soon as he's done with that, he goes into my rep number two, or my rep set number two. And elbows together, loving the extensions. Excellent pace, big push, three, one, oh, oh, that's it, that's failure. That's it, good. Just rest right there, you don't even have to take them off. Boom, three to five deep breaths. Doug is working super hard. Folks, for an extra $1.99 per hour, you can have me come to your home and yell at you while you do these while supplies last. Oh, and look, that joke took up three to five seconds. Doug, hit it. Elbows, elbows, and up. Two more, Doug. Let's make this count. We're at home. Press, elbows, oh, 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 that's it. That's technical failure. That's it, very good. We got one, one, one left, right? Three sets done. Notice, this does not take a lot of time. You feel a tricep pump? Hell yeah. Right at it. Let's get at least five. Many of you will find that after you've done your first set of 20 to 30, you're gonna get sets of about five to 10. But don't try to get sets of five to 10. Try excellent technique and go all the way to failure. Big press. One last one at least. At least one. Push. One more to clean up your technique. Elbows in, 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 in. Big push. Oh, that's it. Awesome. Folks, Doug is going to remain on the ground because he's pooped. That's the whole workout. See you guys next time for another muscle group workout where we do the same kind of stuff. Try this at home. And uh, if you don't hate the workout, uh, it might be super effective for you to keep doing. How do you progress? One last thing, you add reps. If you have super cool dumbbells like these where you can put in weight, you can add weight over time for sure, but that's probably every month you put on a bit more weight because it's a big difference. Dumbbells 20 pounds versus 25, that's like squatting 200 and then going right to 250 next week. Maybe every month you wanna increase the dumbbell weights, but every week you wanna try to add reps it's a good idea to write down these reps that you get. So you get 23 comma 10 comma 8 comma 6. All right, next week, you might do five sets instead of four and add one rep to everything. See how it goes. Folks, best of luck. See you for the next video.